hey guys hey it's your girl so fashion week tv and the place to be and happy sunday it is early evening on a sunday it's 4 47 and my stomach is growling i don't know why because i'm not hungry or anything but i just wanted to pop on here and say hey happy sunday uh i am just getting my lazy butt up to do focus I'm just getting my lazy tail up to one second guys let me fix this I want to straighten this out I have this little teeny dainty uh, tripod and so yeah I am just trying to adjust it yeah this is one of my old faithful tripods that I've had for some years now and um, when I got this new camera it fit perfectly it's a little mini tripod and it's perfect for what I do so hello 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 again um, yes yeah, so I figured I would jump on here and talk to you guys because you know I just felt like talking and Chet's upstairs lying down Byron's in the basement so I figured I would talk to my loved ones you can talk so right now I just misplaced my iced tea I don't know what I did with it I was thirsty so I got some iced tea and I don't know what I did with it so um yeah that's what we're dealing with right now but um I went to the Dollar Tree earlier and I stumbled upon some little cute finds so I figured I would just go ahead and pick them up. I like to change things up in the kitchen and like the little, well, all or, all throughout the house, but um, in the kitchen and the dining area, I like to kind of switch it up, you know, every so many weeks. And because it's summertime, I figured um, I would pick up some of these cute little bowls. So I picked up these bowls. They're like floral uh, bowls. And then I also picked up like the matching towels. Uh, I'll use them as like drying towels here in the kitchen. I also picked up these little candles. Um, this is the energy or energizing uplifting scent candle uh, from Dollar Tree. I had used these as kitchen candles um, a couple of months back. I want to say like in the winter time and they're really really fragrant candles and they're in this cute little jar and so when I saw them there were only three there and I just picked up the three that they had. Let me see what else I got. Okay, so I picked up these paper lanterns as well because I am going to be doing a DIY project for an event that I was booked to do. It's a baby shower and um, it's an elephant themed baby shower and I'm going to be using these lanterns uh, to make a hot air balloon carrying the elephant. So yeah, I saw these and I picked them up. I also picked up some Lay's in um, pink. And I also picked them up in green. Now what I plan to do with the Lay's guys is I plan to use them as a part of the decor in my little dining space. So I've got four of them. I also picked up some of these baby shower favors and these are uh, in the rattle. Um, these are the rattle ones and I'm going to be using these as well as these paper straws on the DIY projects that I have lined up for the centerpieces for the baby shower. I also got my goddaughter some sunglasses um, because sunglasses are really important. It's a really important part of life. I wear them for, uh, for not only fashion, but to protect my eyes because I don't want to get cataracts as I get older. Um, and then I picked up these water bottles, excuse me, can I talk, water bottles, I picked up four of them and I picked them up in alternating colors, uh, pink and green, and yeah, here's the other two here.
I also, guys, picked up these two little hanging signs. One of them says, it's five o'clock somewhere. And the other says, Tiki Bar. And so I plan to, again, incorporate that into the decor. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. I thought that this was a really, really cute um, and inexpensive way to transform your uh your dining space and so that's what i plan to do so i'll give you guys a quick little uh glimpse into the dining area once i'm done with it shouldn't take me really long but i wanted to kind of empty out these bags and kind of get my inspiration going so that i can pull this together so let go Alrighty, guys and so this is what i came up with for something really cute all from Dollar Tree. From this angle, you can see the lays and how they are. I had to wipe down the um, wipe down the glass tables. These are the bigger lanterns that I picked up, so I just kind of like placed them on the table. And so, yeah, something really quick and easy. And this is a bottle of tequila that was just a little bit left in there, and I kind of leaned it over. Is that a martini glass? Yes, over a martini glass. So. Yeah, and then I have some wine there. But yeah, something really quick and easy. And now these are like uh, paper chargers that I picked up from a store uh, in the area. And these are paper plates here. And then these, uh, the bowls are plastic. And uh, these water bottles are also plastic, which is good because if anything falls, it won't break. And then, you know, there's not a huge investment because it's paper products. And so you can just dispose of them or, you know, save them for the next time. But yeah, this is what I did. You know, so on to the next project. Got another HelloFresh delivery in. This is exactly one week from last week's video. And so let's see what we got. All right, so we got the extras in here. And let's see what we got in the extras. Okay, they also have like a wine delivery service. Uh, so they gave me a 50% off coupon for that. And then they also gave me a hair food coupon. I don't know much about what this is, but we got two coupons. And I'm still doing the veggie plan because I'm still not eating meat. And I got um, this to hand off to three friends. And uh, this is a $69.95 value. And um, I think what it does is it gives you a free box. So if you guys are interested, I can screenshot you the code on here if there are three of my loved ones out there who is interested in receiving one of these cards I can screenshot it and email it to you so that you can get um, you can claim your free box and yeah no commitment you can cancel so that's the great thing about HelloFresh is that you don't have to be committed to it if you try it and you don't like it you can certainly cancel I'll skip it or you know put it on cancel or, or whatever um, all right, so let's talk about the three dishes that I have for this week. Ice machine on point as usual. Okay, so the three recipes that I have, the first one is a cheesy pesto orzo with heirloom tomatoes and yellow squash. That's it there. Okay, this is a Hall of Fame dish. This is the heirloom tomato flatbreads with pesto fresh mozzarella and balsamic greens. That's it there. And then lastly, I have a one pan mushroom ravioli gratin. And this is with a crispy Parmesan crust. And that is it there. Um, so this week's meal, guys, uh, they're all meals that are, um, the lowest is this one pan mushroom ravioli. It's 580 calories per serving. 
Then next up is the Orzo. It's 780 calories. And then the Heirloom Tomato Flatbreads are 830 calories. Now you guys know that I try to limit my carb intake, but now since I have not been eating meat, my carbs are up. And so, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, kind of sit down and just reevaluate some things and adjust some things. And so on the weeks where the meals are really high in carbs, what I'm thinking I may do is skip on those. But I didn't skip on this one because I kind of wanted to, you know, try try them out see how they are um kind of full spectrum and then make a decision from there sorry about that since i don't eat the normal serving size anyway i'm probably not getting as much as you know what's listed there uh, by way of calorie counts um so i'm not really worried about that but because i'm not like really tracking to the letter um i don't really know if it's having um, some type of adverse reaction. As far as my weight goes, today when I weighed myself, I was down 0.9 pounds. I was like 125.5. Um, so it's not impacting my weight in any way. Um, but I'm not tracking anything else. So, you know, I don't really know. But since I am kind of a daily wear or every other day wear, I know that it's not in any way affecting my weight and this is my third box so far but again because the carb count is a little higher um in this week's box i am going to kind of gauge it i know what i weigh today and then as the um the week you know progresses i'll be doing a, a daily weigh-in check just to make sure again that these um that the higher carb count is not having a <laughs> little bunny rabbit he's hopping around it's not having an adverse reaction on your girl's weight on the scale we don't want that we don't want that and um you know coming up on three years post-op i've not had any huge gains or anything like that so i think that that in itself is a huge accomplishment so i'm very very excited about that now the summer is really trying to kick off it's kind of unofficially starting here in new jersey where we're getting some 80 degree weather and so with that comes like you know water retention and things like that so you gotta you know drink more water and all that stuff so i'm on it i'm on it your girl's on it and um yeah uh, we are going on a cruise in August, which I believe I've already told you guys that we're going on a cruise and then we are going to finish out our vacation after the cruise in Miami. So that's going to be interesting because I want to do a what I eat in a day every day that I'm there um, while on the cruise and then also while in Miami. Um, just so I can just kind of share with you guys how I stay on plan when I'm away um, because it's very important to me to live my life as normal and normal to me is on plan it's not normal to be off the plan um and being off plan or excuse me and being on plan is not being too strict on myself either it's just making sure i'm putting extra extra good things in my body